In this demonstration, we're now going to go about configuring a CDN and demonstrating that by the use of images that we'll store in Australia. So let's go ahead over to the Azure portal. And to begin with, you can see that I've already created a storage account called SLCDN Demo AUS for Australia. And if I go into that storage account, go into blobs, you'll see I've created a container already there for images called CDN Images expand that out and you can see I have a whole bunch of images in there and they're stored in the Australia region and I'm accessing all of this via my laptop in Chicago so to kind of show you one of the images first of all let's go over to Storage Explorer this is just a quick way to grab an image URL so we'll grab this top one copy the URL I've made these all publicly accessible for this demo and in my browser I'm going to paste that image and you can see that came up pretty quick, probably because it's cached in your browser, so that's something to be aware of. And if you go in and create a new and private window, we'll hit it again, and we will see. Okay, it takes a little bit of time for that image to come in. It's quite a large image, and it's obviously coming from Australia. So what we can do now is go over to Azure, and let's go and create our CDN. We're going to close this window down, close this one out, uh, back in Azure, and now let's go and create a resource. So click Create a Resource on the top left. Go down to web and mobile, which is where you will find CDN. Select a CDN, and it will ask us to create our CDN profile. So I'm going to call mine SL-CDN. Choose our subscription, choose our resource group. And in my case, I'm going to select SL-CDN, which is a resource group I've already created. And that resource group is in North Central. And now I need to choose my pricing tier. So I can select view full pricing details, and this will bring up the differences between Premium Verizon, Standard Verizon, and Standard Akamai, as we described earlier in the module. And my pricing, obviously, is there as well. And if I go ahead and select, in my case, I'm going to use Standard Akamai for this demo. And finally, I have the option to create a new CDN endpoint now. I'm actually going to skip that for the moment. But let's go ahead and click Create. And in a few minutes, it should create our CDN profile for us. And we will come back to this as soon as that's completed. So as you can see in my resources now, the CDN profile is completed. Let's go ahead and select that. You'll notice a couple of things here. First of all, the price and tier is listed on the right-hand side there, so standard Akamai as we selected before. And then as you can see on the bottom, I don't have any endpoints currently associated with this profile. So we can go ahead and select add endpoint at the top. And now I need to type in some additional details for my endpoint. So first of all, we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call mine SLCDN Images Demo. And you can see there the suffix is .azureedge.net, followed by the origin type. So I'm going to be using a storage account. But you can see there you can use a cloud service from Classic, Web Apps, or a custom origin. But we're going to use storage account. The origin host name. So this asks me to select my storage account. So in this case, I'm going to select the SL. CDN demo AUS storage account we used previously. I'm not going to add anything for a path. That allows me to redirect directly to a path in the origin if I want to. And then you can see that it creates an origin host header as well for me and the protocol port 80 and 443, that's already there. This part on the bottom though is pretty key. I can optimize for general web delivery, which is what I want on this occasion. But if I wanted to, like I said earlier in the course, if we were optimizing for media streaming or video on demand, you know, dynamic site acceleration, those are things that I can select from this menu as well. But let's go ahead and select Add. It'll go ahead and create that endpoint for us. It'll take about a minute, and then we'll come back to that once it's completed. Okay, and we can see that status is now running on the bottom there. We have our host name, slcdnimagesdemo.azureedge.net. So how do we go about proving this out? If we go into that edge, and in a second it'll pop up, and on the right-hand side we have our endpoint host name and our origin host name. So let's go ahead and take an image. Let's go down to Storage Explorer, and let's take another one here. Let's take quite a large one. So yeah, 7.8 meg here. We will take this image, copy the URL, go back over to our browser, and let's create a new window and put that in and this first of all we can see how long it's going to take for this image to come across from Australia 
Now what we can do is just change the URL on the front of it. So if we go back to Azure, grab this endpoint host name, let's copy that, go back to our image, and grab it in front, and paste over. And now we're basically saying, get me the same image, but get it from the edge, and expand that. Now the first time it does it, it still has to retrieve it from the origin, so we don't get much of an improvement in response time yet. Now I know if I just refresh it now, it's in my browser cache, so I'm going to grab that URL. Let's open a new and private window. Paste it in there, refresh, and we can see almost instantaneously the image is available, and that's because it's downloading from a local point of presence in my region. And with that, hopefully you can see the benefits of CDN, how they work, how you configure them, and that concludes this demonstration.